think y'all think because it ain't happened yet just as in the time of Noah they didn't believe the earth was going to be flooded neither they didn't believe it neither they thought it was sweet too and it's the same way in these last days where is the return of the Messiah where is the destruction you keep telling us about where is it it's all good we can smoke weed in public we can dress naked openly we can be in gangs. We can make baby mamas and have baby daddies. We can do whatever we want. It's all good in the hood. Everything is everything. Just like in the time of Noah. Y'all think it's sweet. Come on. Verse 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of. For this you are willingly ignorant. You are willingly ignorant. So we come to teach you the laws of God that you are clearly out here breaking. We come to teach you the laws of God that will have you live when Christ comes. But as it stands right now, you hate the laws of God. You don't believe that Christ is coming back. And you definitely don't believe he's coming back to destroy you. Come on. That by the word of God, the heavens were of old. And the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire. This time, instead of the water, instead of flooding the earth, which God promised he would never do again, he's killing all the sinners, even of his people, with fire. Thermonuclear fire. Thermonuclear fire. So we come out here to warn our brothers and sisters. We don't hate you, we love you. We want you to live. We're trying to restore the ruins that go back to, go back to Amos chapter nine and give me verse 11 again. We're trying to restore, restore the ruins of our people. The, re the ruins of a once great, great and prominent people. That's right, blacks. Hispanics and Native Americans, you're not Afro-Americans. You're not Afro-Latinas. No. You're the Jews the Bible talk about. You're the real Israelites. That's who you are. And so our job is to restore you back to where you were, back to who you are. Come on, sister. Come on. Come learn. Come learn. Come learn, sister. You my sister. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We don't bite. Come on. Amos chapter 9, verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David. This is after, after those who would have learned, those who should have learned, turn their shoulders. They turn their shoulders. They didn't want to hear it. So the Lord is going to destroy them. He's going to destroy all sin out of the earth. And once that takes place, he's going to raise up. Come on. That is fallen. He's going to raise up the decayed state of his people, which is fallen. Which is fallen. Right. No more, no more crackheads in the hood right. of our people. Right. That ain't going to be, that's no, that's not supposed to be. A, the Lord is fixing all of that. We come out here to fix all of that. Right. We're not okay with that. We don't just walk past it. Oh, well, it ain't me. No, that is terrible. Baby mamas, little boys growing up, raised by a woman. That is horrible. Right. That is terrible. Right. That's terrible. But it's become a norm with our people. It's become a norm. We're not even embarrassed by something as shameful as that. Read it again. Amos chapter 9 verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the... We are the tabernacle of David, meaning we are the house of David. We are the house of the Jews. We are the house of Israel. That's us. God said it's fallen. God says that it's broken, it's destroyed. God said that. But we want our people walk around with such pride. When you, say, when you say the word crackhead, it's a black person you think of. When you say baby mama, it's a black sister that come to mind. Ain't no white woman. Ain't no China woman. Ain't no, you ain't got to look around. Don't be ashamed of that. We got to digest, we got to swallow that pill. We got to, and, and fix it. And fix it. It's okay to be ashamed, but we gotta fix it. Come on. 
And I will raise up his ruins. He will raise up the ruins of our people. Ain't nothing for us to be proud of. We are yet, give me Baruch 3 and 8. We are still this right now in our captivity. We wouldn't be standing on this beach naked, clowning high and acting like fools had not we brought, we came here as slaves. Have we, we forgot that? Everybody know that those waters, those waters is what we came over with shackles on our hands and our feet. Everybody know that's, everybody know that history. But for some reason, we forget it. We think that we free. We think we free. Watch this, read. Baruch chapter three, verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. The Bible say we are yet this day in our captivity. The Bible says we, the people of God, are yet this day in our captivity. Read it again. Baruch chapter three, verse eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us. It says, where thou, where God has scattered us. Why did he scatter us? Because we left off from following his law, statutes, and commandments. We left off from him being our God. That was our power. The one living God, the one true God, is our God. And nobody else's. That was our power, and we left it. We left it. We left him. We turned our backs on him. So he turned his back on us. That's what it means that he has scattered us into captivity. Read it again. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. And to be subject to payments. So if you think you're free, God say you a slave, you captives to this day. If you pay for anything. Because the world belongs to you. Right. The world belongs to all these black men and women out here, but they don't know. Nobody knows. That's a great mystery. Nobody knows that you're actually kings and queens walking around, princesses, daughters of God walking around. Nobody knows that. That's a great mystery. Say that again. I like that you said that. I like that you said that. Now, guess what, sis? Give me Proverbs 126 now. Yes, sir. Give me Proverbs 126 now. Watch this. I like that you said what the sister said. She said, oh, wow. Nobody has to tell me twice. Good. Now, it's requirements for that. It's requirements for that. Because remember, we were scattered into captivity for leaving the commandments. So what must we do to be free from the commandments? Come around here for me, sister. Come around here for me. Everybody got questions? Excellent. Excellent. Watch this. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.